My BFI player choice this week is a landmark of Indian cinema, the 1955 directorial debut from the legendary Satyajit Ray and arguably one of the greatest films ever made, Pata Panchali. Adapted from the 1929 novel of the same name, Pata Panchali, or Song of the Little Road, is the first instalment in what would become the Apu trilogy. Three films, all shot on shoestring budgets and all sharing the status of modern classics. This first outing follows the youthful story of Apu and his sister Durga in rural Bengal, a story tinged with hardship and tragedy, yet somehow full of magic. Many of the crew, such as cinematographer Subrata Mitra, were feature first-timers, but it was money rather than inexperience which proved the greatest hurdle. Although government funding was reportedly provided under an official allocation of road improvements, a sly nod to the film's title, financing issues caused the production of Pata Panchali to stretch out over a period of years, with mid-shoot shutdowns causing much alarm since the young leads were growing and changing every day. As for the score, which is now almost as celebrated as the film, the bulk of it was recorded by sitar player Ravi Shankar in one mammoth 12-hour session, with DP Mitra also contributing to the music. A key text in the evolution of so-called new Indian cinema, Pata Panchali, which has stylistic parallels with the work of the Italian neorealists, won India's National Achievement Award for Best Feature Film in 1955 and was fated at the Cannes Film Festival the next year, where it earned the prize for Best Human Document. Here in the UK, it was nominated for a BAFTA in 58, while in America, it won the National Board of Review's Best Foreign Film Trophy. It would go on to become a favourite of everyone, from Akira Kurosawa to Christopher Nolan. Watch and find out why.